All righty, here with Craig Jackson from, of course, Barrett Jackson Auctions. And thank you. We uh, auctioned off my tractor for the veterans and yeah. got $550,000 and went to the, the veterans. So we thanks for to you put together. Now, he's he's got a, uh, a Barracuda. This is owned by Dan Gurney, correct? Raced yeah. by Dan Gurney. No, by Dan Gurney. Yeah, this was when, when men were men and the women were glad of it. Yes, sir, Bob. This, <laughs> this is my kind of race car based on a factory production automobile. 340? A uh, D-stroke 340 down to 302. 302, okay. So this was uh, that whole Trans Am series, yep. correct? When yep. Camaros and Mustangs and they all roamed the earth like dinosaurs. It's my favorite period. Tell us, tell us a little bit about this car. Dan, actually, this is the last car he, he raced? This is it. He raced this car and retired at Riverside at wow. the end of the series uh, that season. And he built the car, All American Racing. That's wow. why they made the AAR Cudas. Yep. There were three of these built. Uh, they crashed one during the middle of the season. Right. He finished the season in this car, and it's also had a second life. After the end of the season, they sold it to Chrysler of France. They put a Hemi in it and raced Le Mans two years in a row. Wow. Never finished Le Mans, right. but it's the only Cuda that was a factory Hemi Cuda race car. It was found in Europe and brought back to the States. And because they took the engine out of it to race with a Hemi, right. it still had the original engine in it when it came back. Oh, very cool. It, it was very neat. Two years ago, Gurney was the mark here. Mm -hmm. And the pit crew and the head engineer and Dan Gurney all went around the car together. And they were amazed that it still had all the pieces on it wow. from when they finished the car at the end of the season. All the stuff in the engine. We left it just the way it was. It, it doesn't have any modern technology right. in it. And what kind of horsepower is it putting out? It puts out 505 at yeah, the crank. Yeah. But that's 505 real horsepower. Real horsepower, yeah. aspirated, made yeah. the old fashioned way. Cams and boy, and compression. these kind of things are a lot of fun to drive. You can slide them and they're controllable. They got more than enough horsepower to get the job done. And they sound great and they look great. How long have you owned this car? I've owned it about seven years. Oh, okay. Well, this is a keeper, isn't it? I've had it quite a while. I have yeah. a couple guys that keep trying to buy it. That, yeah, uh, yeah. Our Chrysler. It's the only well, put me on Plymouth that out there racing. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I guess that's right. Well, very cool. You'll see a lot of Camaros. You'll see uh, a lot of bosses. Yeah. yeah. But there's one Dodge, the Posey Dodge. Yeah. And there's this car that goes out and races. Well, Craig is a real enthusiast. You know, that's why the auction does so well, because he's a car guy and he knows the car. So congratulations. And, Thank uh, you. We'll see you in January in Phoenix again. Yep. Okay. We'll be selling something.